Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up 10 Celestial Storm Pokemon Booster Packs. Now these booster packs I purchased from GameStop for $2 a piece. I purchased all 10 of these at a buy one get one free sale. These packs are normally $3.99 a piece. Of course Celestial Storm is the 7th set in the Sun and Moon series of sets. It is heavy on Hoenn region Pokemon and was released August 3rd, 2018. This set is about in the middle when it comes to the competitive scene. Would love to pull out any form of Rayquaza GX. So the way that you open up these sleeve packs would be to make sure the pack is at the bottom and then you just rip across the top like so. Hopefully a little bit better than that and not rip the pack. I'll do that for all 10 packs here. So here's a look at the 10 packs that'll be opening up. I'll get to opening them now. Started off with a Blaziken cover artwork design pack, Blaziken GX in this set. White colored code card right off the bat. And I've had decent luck in these GameStop booster pack openings. More regular GX cards than anything and lots of rare hollows. Metatite starts the very first pack. Dot Shiftry GX in this set. Clampearl, Fanpy. Electrike, Grass Type Energy, Kecleon, TV Reporter, Life Herb, Reverse Hollow of an Oracorio, which is an uncommon, and the final card would be indeed a rare hollow, this time a Heatran. So I'll see if my luck continues with the rare hollow cards. Let's go to a Rayquaza cover artwork design pack. Going into the release of Lost Thunder, Rayquaza GX Vicavolt was my favorite deck. Now, you see that deck with Zero Aura GX. It isn't as good in my opinion, but it's still solid. Slugma starts this pack. Mag Cargo, very good. Larvitar. Wismer. Bellsprout. Whalmer. Water Type Energy. Rainbow Brush. Apricorn Maker. A useful supporter in Grand Bull decks. Dawn Fan. Reverse Solo of Acro Bike, which is an uncommon, one of the better trainer cards in the set. And the final card would be a Registeel. That Acro Bike is used heavily in energy acceleration type decks, where you want to move energy from the discard pile. Blaziken Pack here, and it was a little bit rough on opening the cardboard sleeve, ripped the top corner of the pack. Hopefully I didn't damage any of the cards on the inside. And I don't know how long these packs have been sitting in GameStop. I actually cleaned out the entire store of Celestial Storm. Slackoth starts this one. Surskit. Slugma. Larvitar. Wismer. Grass-type Energy. Masquerade. How. Underground Expedition. Reverse Hollow of a Hiker, which is an uncommon. And the final card here would be another rare hollow, this time a Victory Bell. A cool looking card there. My favorite generation is the first generation. My favorite set of all time is actually Legendary Collection. Potentially could pull a Prism Star in one of these packs. Of course, Lost Thunder has way more than any other expansion out there. I have reviewed all the Prism Star cards from Celestial Storm. Metatite starts this one. Splink, Electrike, Surskit, Onyx, Fire Type Energy, Dunsparce, Last Chance Potion. I was just playing a Dawn Fan and a Last Chance Potion deck on the online TCG with Lost Marsh. Lost to that deck, unfortunately. Swalot, Reverse Solo of a Volbeat, which is an uncommon. And the final card would be a Regirock. So a couple of legendary Pokemon in this opening so far. Not anything spectacular. If I was to get three rare holo cards out of ten packs, that wouldn't be terrible. Another Slugma to start this pack. Right on the top. Like I mentioned, Slugma to start this one. Larvitar. Wismer. Bellsprout. Whalmer. Fire-type Energy. Switch. Loudred. Masquerade. Reverse Holo of a Cacnea, just a common. And the final card would be another rare holo, this time a Kyogre. So there are the three rare holo cards that I was hoping for. 
Five packs left to go halfway through this opening. Solid pull so far. Stack attack on this pack. Would like to pull something other than a regular GX, but I'll definitely take one as opposed to a rare non holo. Spin rack starts this one. Bag on. Another bag on. Clam pearl. Low tad. Metal type energy. Apricorn maker. Don fan. Scyther, Reverse Solo of a Torchic, just a common. And the final card would be a Banat. Jirachi pack now. No rare Reverse Solo so far. That is a little bit strange from the GameStop pack openings. Surskit starts this pack. Three more packs left after this one. Slugma, Larvitar, Wismer, Bellsprout, Psychic type energy, Sabli, Kecleon, Hustle Belt, Reverse Hollow of a Volbeat, and that is an uncommon. And the final card here would be a Stack Attack, a GX. So, not a bad pull here, a regular GX. So, continuing with the trend of regular GX pulls from GameStop packs. This card is pretty decent in the competitive scene, its ability helps with Ultra Beasts. Set that one aside. Four good cards to summarize. And I've only opened up seven packs. Blaziken on this one. Another white colored code card. See what happens here. Voltorb starts it. Slugma. Bagon. Baltoy. Beldum. Fire type energy. How. Matang. Huntail. Reverse solo of an energy switch, which is an uncommon. And the final car looks to be a rare holo. It would be another victory bell. So four rare holo pulls so far in this opening. Two victory bell out of those four. Two packs left to go. Let's save the Rayquaza one for the end. If I was able to pull out a Rayquaza GX, it would make the opening and actually pay for the entire opening. Around $20 for the 10 packs. Bell Sprout starts this one. Whalmer. Beldum. Spoink. Baltoy. Psychic type energy. Masquerine. How? Underground Expedition. Reverse Solo of a Marsh Tomp, which is an uncommon. And the final card would be an Electro GX. So, second regular GX pull of the opening. Not as good as the stack attacker, but I will take regular GX as a collector, always trying to get as many ultra rares and secret rares into my collection as possible. Final pack here. Pretty happy with the pulls in this video. I do have lots more Celestial Storm packs to open up. Metatite starts the final pack. Spoink. Electrike. Surskit. Onyx. Metal type energy, TV reporter, Dunsparce, last chance potion, reverse solo of a Grovile, which is an uncommon, and the final card would be a Registeel. So I can summarize my pulls now. Pretty solid overall, nothing spectacular, however. Out of the 10 packs, I was able to pull out four rare holo, a couple of victory bell. Here's one Kyogre. The other Victory Bell, and then a Heatran, and two regular GX, Electrode, and then Stack Attacka. So there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, make sure to check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. So thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.